bad shit. Yeah. It's not a game, it's not a game. Banging on your chest when I come through the pain. Never been about the money or the fame. But when it bring both, so here we go again. Wins on the road, yeah, I got. Dollar. Dollar. Hey. hey, DJ Mosky, let's get it. Let's get it. We the champions here in Los Angeles. We doing numbers. Bring it home victory straight out the huddle. I met the plug, introduced to my brother. My squad superior, ain't none above us. We doing numbers. Gang in the building, we taking it over. Call the promoters. I just pulled up in this thing with my soldiers. I blew it and I'm still. Last minute, I'ma need me some Call up Khalifa Bring them in the You know I stay with some bad lip, baby TGOD, baby, no, that's a gang gang Crazy girls after the game We going honest, we going insane Pointers, 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 pointers Yeah, homies got me pointers, pointers We get awards where we get God the glory I'm shooting my shot and most times I be scoring Do this for my city, I bring on the trophy Feel like Freddie Mercury, we Be the champions Here in Los Angeles we doing numbers, bring it home victory, straight out the huddle. I met the plug, introduced to my brother. My squad superior, ain't none of us. We doing numbers, gang in the building, we taking it over. Feeling like I can't miss, baby, it's all in the wrist. You really want to be the boss, it's expensive. Ain't the real champion, you never defend it. Put in that work, I'ma make them remember. I just broke down hella trees yelling timber. Stand in the line, they put me in the center. It blow they mind when they see how I'm winning. Went back and doubled up, now you in trouble. My on hustle, my diamonds are huddled up. TGOD got this off the muscle. Less me about my life, man, I love it, I love it. Got so many rings, I need room for another one. Been through the pain, now it ain't no more struggle. My team win the game, put our face on the cover, brother. We, we the, the champions. champions. Here in Los Angeles, we doing numbers. Bring it home victory, straight out the huddle. I met the plug, introduced to my brother. My squad superior, ain't none above us. We doing numbers. Gang in the building, we taking it over. Today, from FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland, it's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. shower since about 7 a.m. here in D.C. and the radar indicates it's going to continue but nothing to stop football from happening at FedEx Field. Today we've got a good week five matchup in store here between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Washington Commanders.
With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Mahomes on third. And Matthews makes a grab. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. After last week's loss, you bet this offense probably wanted to come out with a little more fire than a three and out. And I'm sure that people are saying, hey, come on, coach, where was the pregame talk? Have these guys ready to go? But you and I both know. It goes into preparation and practice and being ready to go. That gives you the confidence to come out and play. They've got to find that and fast. And it's fielded at the 34. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. So out comes the Washington offense as they get their first shot. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game. Bottom line, may not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Buying time to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Throwing again on second and 10. Rich. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Rich. Throwing the out route incomplete, it's man. Pretty darn good, as you see right there on your screen. I'll echo that, darn good. Two touchdowns, right? And the ability to be in sync with each other, right? To understand that he's going to be where the quarterback expects him to be when the ball is thrown. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back to throw. Rich, he finds his man complete. That's man. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And the Commanders are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. 
Looking to throw. Rich. And he rifles one incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Again, he'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Commanders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. I tell you what, CD, this Washington defense, very strong in the victory last week. And I don't know what the actual percentages are, and I don't know the analytics when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. But coaches always say, when you create a number that high, your chances of winning, probably up over 98%. I haven't seen that number quantified, but I believe them. And yeah, he'll get about three up close to the 35. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And we know this offense, they're built around passing the football. That time, the running game didn't suit them so well. Not so well, but they have to do it every so often. You have to be able to control the pass rush a little bit, make them somewhat hesitant before they come and get your quarterback. At least have the illusion that you have a running game. On second and 12, Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Over the middle, it's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 40. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. On play action, it's Mahomes. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Commanders will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. 
Okay, partner, no surprise to you. I'm going to look at this from the defensive perspective. In the rain, you have to be more cautious trying to cover passing routes. Why? The offense knows where they're going with the football. The receiver knows the route he's going to run. You have to make sure you keep your footing underneath you. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Rich. This will be caught by Brown. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. Shotgun handoff to Brown here. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They go right back to the ground here, and Brown will get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Looking to throw on second down. Rich. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Throwing on first down. Rich. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to throw. Rich flush to his right. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 31-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try the left side. Baker, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense, humming here in the early going. On first and ten, Rich. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Hey, we can preach ball security all we want here, but how about that effort on defense? Excellent job inside the red zone. Just took away at least three points by forcing that fumble. And now here comes Kansas City. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Mahomes now on first down. And that is incomplete here. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. To throw once more on second and ten. Mahomes. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. 
From the gun, it's Mahomes. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. And Matthews over the middle with a grab. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. A good down to possibly take a shot. And in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Now Mahomes. He gets it to Matthews. Complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. From the gun on third down, Mahomes over the middle complete. It's Carroll. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target, able to pick up another first down. taps this forward it's a jet sweep he is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two throwing on second and eight Mahomes dancing to it and he can't get rid of it he's taken down Chase Young make that now eight sacks for him on the season. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. They're going to look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Deron Payne, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because... The entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. as he trots onto the field. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Operating from the gun, Rich. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. 
Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they'll take over here following the interception with a chance to tie the ball game. It's first and 10. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. Down to about the 32. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. Tackle made by Chase Young. Working with second and five now. Throwing now is Mahomes. Complete to Mooney on the slant. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. Here's Mahomes to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Commanders are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, is going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal and you throw the pick, not good at all. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Operating from the gun. Rich over the middle here to Brown. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. They'll give this up the middle to Brown. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Another run for Brown on second down. And he... On third down, Baker. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten yards there, good for Washington first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's man. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. To throw on second down, Rich. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle. And he does so and picks up positive yardage. It's on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Let me remind you.
join you in just a couple of minutes. We'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw. Rich. Now they go screen. It's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. From the gun on third down. Rich. He finds his man. Complete. It's man. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll try and run for it with Brown. Oh, and fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancer for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. This is caught. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. On third and two, Rich being chased out left. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here we go on fourth down. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So they only needed a couple of feet there on fourth down, but they got more than that and then some as he takes this into the end zone. And I love your description right there, right? Fourth and short. They got that. No problem. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it. Finish it off in the end zone. Touchdown. Everyone goes away happy on that one. No problem there on the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. From the 10. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down now, but that clock rolling. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Well, this is just crazy. He's got three interceptions, Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats right now, you're saying, all right, who's the leading receiver? 
Well, can you flip it around and say that maybe he is and could be for the game the way that things are going right now? I think if it's him, he wants to be on the field at all times. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with great starting field position up near the 50, they might be one completion away from stealing a late field goal here. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Back to the air on second down. Rich, throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. He'll get it inside the 20. Touchdown, Washington! Terry McLaurin in the final seconds of the first half. And the Commanders would extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook, but even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff, because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away from the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. OK, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you, too, in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in Week 5. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. And that game tied at 7 in the second quarter. From there, it's off to Chicago. Check on the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And they lead that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. Deontay Johnson, a touchdown catch in that first half. Finally, let's get to Philadelphia. Check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And in that one is the visiting Giants who have the lead. Kadarius Toney, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here is Washington now to take over. They've got the lead right now as they start this drive first and 10. Of course, remember, they beat the Saints a week ago. So some good momentum rolling right now. Throwing to start the drive. Rich. And he's taken down. A chief sack. I credit that sack to D'Angelo Malone. That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go before the pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. And yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Back to throw. Rich, he finds his man, complete. It's man. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. On third down, Rich, man open left side is Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
The Washington offense stringing together a couple of good pickups. It's another first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. First down, Rich. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. Pulling a gain of three on the play. And it'll be second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes it very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Now a throw here to his running back. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Back to throw again. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. Washington going to send out their punter. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. This is taken at the 15. A very good punt, but a 16-yard return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, right at the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Now Edward Jalera, and he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I don't care what anyone says. I want a big time back in in this kind of yardage each and every time I step on the field. A tone setter, these guys are hard to find. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, he finds Matthews. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They'll run, it's Edwards Alaire. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Mahomes gonna throw. He's gonna hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26 yard line. Here's Edwards Alaire. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. To throw on second and six, Mahomes. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. 
On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On third down, here's Edwards Alaire. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead him to fourth down. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So it was fourth down and one in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. And I'm a little bit surprised that that's exactly what they decided to do. I kind of thought that they would go for it in that situation. But sometimes I'm sure you just think to yourself, take the three points, put them in your pocket, and move on. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Now a play fake here on first down. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain and it brings up second down. Looking to throw. Rich forced out to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. D'Angelo Malone able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. I like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. to throw this to McLaurin out on the 14 yards is the pick up there but it'll still lead to a fourth down and the hitch route has run really well that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space all you want there get that space catch the football and then make a move and pick up extra yardage and that's exactly what he got done there Washington going to send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Pulled in at the 24. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return, and they will take over first and 10. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. 
This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Finding Edwards Alaire once again. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. To throw, it's Mahomes. And a quick throw here, that's complete. It'll go as a gain of four. Third and seven now. Mahomes to throw once more. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Another solid game-changing play for this defense for the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game-changing. I mean, they've got this one in firm control. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone left their game plan behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game. Guys are always in the right spot in order to make a play. The offense has had its moments, too. And inside give, Brown. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They keep it on the ground. Again, it's Brown. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And this offense on third down today, they're at 50%, four for eight. This time they face a third and two. He finds his man complete. It's man. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Back to throw. Rich. He'll look underneath and finds Brown. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. To throw on third down. Rich. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen. But somehow, they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. I don't think this will even, nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short, and this will remain an 18-point lead. KC's offense ready to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. A 
bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Now here's Mahomes. That's who is running back, Edwards Alaire. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. Oh, he stays up. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position because anyone can go after the quarterback in their defense, and you can see how they've all absorbed their lessons. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And my goodness, another interception. Brandon Jones picking it off. And the Commanders are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That run's successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. Running right, here's Brown. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Looking to throw, Rich. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. This is Brown going up the middle. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good, and this will remain an 18-point lead. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Mahomes now on first down. And now here is another interception. And the commanders are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. 
A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. 